Yogi, Shinja Sedge here, coming to you with more Pokemon Academy Life. Okay, so at the end of last episode, we uh, we started off um, going to classes. Uh, we went to homeroom. Actually, we did a lot more than that. We met Leaf, and then we finally went to our room. Then there was the orientation, and then after orientation, we met some other people. And then after we met some other people, um, we finally were um, introduced to Leaf properly. Um, figuring out that we had the same homeroom with her, May, and Blue, along with um, along with like a few other people. And then um, we chose the same electives as Green did because y'all know I'm going for Green, trying to at least. Now there were a couple things added, like um, for example the social and traits that wasn't there. I believe the last time I played, um, I believe this whole area was just empty right here, and now it's not. So because there was like this, and then there was the title screen. There wasn't like social and traits, but now there is. So I think I've played uh, almost every demo of this game, almost every demo. So I've seen the game grow a lot. Um, I don't typically go to streams and stuff. Of like them doing the arts and the art and stuff for the characters. I th forgot. It's like speed art or whatever that's called. I don't know. All right. Well, I'm gonna stop talking now and get into it. So we're starting off in the grass type elective. Whoa! This classroom is also way bigger than anything we had in Pallet Town. So this is what a privately funded classroom looks like. I wonder if I can find some people I know in here. I see Leaf and Brendan sitting on opposite sides of the classroom. They're both looking at me like they want me to sit next to them. Now, it, what I think I'm curious about is that if you're, if you're, if there's three of you in a class of three friends, and you have the opportunity to pick where you sit, normally, and this is what in my experience is in my high school, three friends will typically sit next to each other. If they're like a trio of friends, they will typically sleep next to each other. Hold on, I'm gonna like angle that a bit differently. They will typically sit next to each other. Like, I did that with my friends. Like, if there was three of us, we would try and sit next to each other. Hell, if there was four of us or five of us, we would still try and find a way to sit close close to each other. So, I don't know. You guys should have sat closer to one another. I'll go ahead and sit in the middle as a compromise. <laughs> He's got a point. Good day, Sprouts! Mmm, old man! Oh, he looks really old. That's the Gen 6 uh, Grass-type gym leader. I think I remember watching him in the anime. Yeah, and he was actually pretty interesting, I'm not gonna lie. That's our teacher? Is he going to be okay? He's slowly shuffling his way to the front, and his legs look like they're going to give out any second. Welcome to the Grass Elective class. I'm your teacher. Ramzo's the name. Before I begin, let me... Oh, horse apples. I done forgot the dang attendance sheet. I'll be right back. I'm kind of giving, like, I guess a redneck sort of old man voice. <sighs> Weird to think that such a rigorous school, rigorous school would have someone like him as a teacher. I take this time to stretch my arms a bit. Whoops, knocked over a pencil. Holy, what a dive. I think this girl was sitting two seats behind me. How did she react that fast? I didn't even get a, get to glance in the direction my pencil was heading. That was a nice catch. Thanks, but it was nothing. No, I'm serious. Your reaction time is insane, and I barely reacted myself. Really? You're trained for the Pokemon League, aren't you? This really isn't all that impressive. Oh, uh, nah, I'm just messing with you. It's okay if your reflexes are a bit slow. There are plenty of other things to worry about in the big leagues anyway. You didn't have to go and say, Oh, my name's Gard Gardenia? Sorry if I butchered her name for all of you who know how to pronounce her name. What's yours? I'm Red. Nice meeting you, Red. Oh, Ramos is coming back. Uh, Gardena nimbly goes back, or more like jumps back into her seat. I might sneeze here soon, I don't know. And he's back. That really took a while. But judging by how fast he moves, that's to be expected. Oh, sorry about the delays, Sprouts. Now where was I? <laughs> Oh, Shuggles, looks like we ain't got no time left. I reckon I shouldn't keep you longer than I have to. Wait a minute. Class dismissed. Y'all run along now. 
That took a little longer than I expected. It is the first class though, so it'll probably stop feeling like that once we get into the groove. Next is gym class. Weird, I don't remember getting any gym uniforms in the mail or anything. Maybe it's one of those battle simulation things? If I recall correctly, it's something similar. Wait, MVP? What's with all this MVP stuff? You see like Steven, Lance, um, Oak, Agatha. Wait, Oak was an MVP? I don't even know what that means. So this is the gymnasium. The gymnasium! I wonder if this is an official gym uh, sanctioned by the Pokemon League. Most likely not. There hasn't been any mention of something like this on the brochure, and it's on school property. I think it's safe to assume it's simply yet another fancy room in the Academy's collection. Though, other than some old banners lining, up, lining the walls, this place is barren compared to the others. However, if it is really, if it really is like the official gyms, then that means Pokemon battles might take place here. Do you see any um? What is it called? Basketball hoops? No, you're not playing basketball. You will be battling. Okay, instead of a sneeze, it was a burp. I ate some spaghetti, so kind of made my stomach a little upset. I'm trying to bear through it. You guys don't care about that, I know. I see Brendan, May, and Leave sitting down talking about something. Trevor and Tinero are there, too. Not sure what they're discussing, but it sure sounds fun. With all of them together like that, they really make the room seem a lot livelier. I see Misty sitting over by the side, too. Hopefully she's feeling a bit better since I last saw her. Speaking of fun and liveliness, this is a huge class. I'm pleased I can recognize a few faces now. That's true. I saw Sabrina. Sabrina's cute. Over on the other side, I see Wombo leaning back against his seat. It's kind of weird seeing him sitting alone like that. You'd think a guy like him would try to surround himself with as many people as possible by now. I refuse to end up like him over there. I'm going to go over and sit by Brendan and the others. Uh, I think it's... uh. Alder. Is that his name, Alder? I guess I'm about to find out, aren't I? If you'd shut up and play the in Go, Devin, then yeah. Yes, right, settle down. Are these guys our teachers? The guy on the left definitely looks like one. But the other guy looks like one of those mountain hermits you hear about on TV. It is Alder. Okay. Welcome to gin class. I'm Alder and he's Bruno. We'll be your instructors for this year. Now, I bet you're all wondering what you'll actually be doing in this class. Well, it'll be just like the other gym classes you've probably taken in your other schools. Except we're not going to make you change into sports and play sports. In this school, we focus more on portraying Pokemon, not your bodies. So it's nothing like the, the, the gyms at other schools. Portraying your body is important too, haha. Hmm. <clears throat> anyway, the real reason why this school has a gym class like this is to prepare you kids for the real Pokemon gyms after you graduate, at least for those interested in taking the lead, tackling the league. Can any of you tell me why gyms exist in the first place? Gyms were, <clears throat> gyms were created to weed out the skilled trainers from the mediocre trainers. If we didn't have gyms, there'd be thousands of buffoons roaming around doing whatever they please. Or perhaps at least limit the number of people that think they'd make good Pokemon trainers. Unfortunately, I don't think gyms stop anyone from doing that. Right, very good guesses, but the main purpose of a gym is to allow po is to allow trainers who are less experienced to test their skills against more experienced ones on even footing. And that is what we're going to be doing in this class. Wait, you're telling us we're going to be Pokémon battling in this class? Precisely, though we don't though we won't be diving into that right away. First, we need to review the basics. You're all so busy trying to learn new things that sometimes you forget the most root the rudimentary th skills. What is what? Are you going to teach us how to catch Pokemon or something? Yes, that's a very important part of the curriculum. Sheesh. Even if some of you think you have everything you need to know about Pokemon battling, trust me when I say you don't. We've been in this field a lot longer than you have, and even we still don't have it down perfectly. Haha. <laughs> I reflexively glance over at Wumbo. As I expected, he seems a bit irked by what Alda just said. I hope he doesn't make a scene like he did in Homeroom. Oh, excuse me for rambling on like that. Uh, Bruno, why don't you tell them more about this class? Very well. This gym was first and foremost designed to be a training ground for students, and as such, it is available for free use after class hours. Just bring your student ID and 
you receive unlimited access to its facilities. In addition to the exercise machines available, the gym also contains several battle simulators to allow students to experience what a live Pokemon match would feel like in real time. Ex excuse me, simulators? So you're saying there won't be any live Pokemon matches here? Live matches? You can hold battles here if you wish, but most take place in the battle hall. Unfortunately, unless you're on school's competitive battling team, you will not be allowed access into it. Battle team? Sounds like something right up Bombo's alley. What's the battle team about? Our school has a competitive battling team for students who wish to take their uh, take their Pokemon training to the next level. It's a very selective club, so don't think about signing up so quickly. Oh yeah? What does it take to get in there? Even after you've joined, mock battles between club members take place daily to determine whether or not you're fit to remain on the team. Jeez. Ha, that's easy. Be careful of what you say. Arrogance and strength do not go hand in hand. I'm telling you, it'll be a piece of cake. Who's in charge of the team? I am. Oh, Lance. Wait, who is this guy? He looks familiar. Can't remember exactly from where. Maybe on TV? But just by looking at him, I'm sure anyone could tell that this guy is really important. Wumbo should watch his tone of voice around him. Being accepted to the battle team is one of the highest honors a student can receive in this school. It is not to be taken lightly. Lance, how long have you been standing there? I was just passing by. It's been a while, Bruno. Alder. Ha, huh, it has indeed. Oh, where are my manners? Students, this is Lance, the advisor of the battle team. Pleased to meet you all. So these are the new students that just came in? They look quite capable. I expect great things from all of you. When I was a freshman at this school, I... Hey, you're the guy running the battle team. Yes, and you should heed the advice of Alder and Bruno. From For someone currently at your level, it would be impossible to get in. What did you say? Here we go. Just because you're an upperclassman doesn't mean you can look down on me. I'm not an upperclassman, nor am I looking down on you. I am simply stating the facts. Anyway, I'm in a hurry. I have business to attend to, and I cannot be late. Alright, it was good seeing you again, Lance. Likewise. Take care, Alder. Bruno. Is this guy really just gonna walk out without saying anything else? I glance at him again. I know how seriously Wumbo takes his pride, so that must have done a number on him. But he has to learn to take it easy one of these days. You heard him. The battle team is serious business. After all, it wasn't luck that our school has produced the most world champions, elite four members, and holds the record for most wins at the national tournament. You heard right. The top students represent Copacon Academy and face off against students from other schools during the Pokemon League season. Oh my gosh, that sounds so cool. I think I'd faint from stage fright if I had to do something like that in front of all those people. You do know that you have to get on the team first to even consider doing something like that, right? But anyway, you shouldn't worry about things like that. There are much more important things to take care of, after all, like graduating on time. <laughs> hmm, I suppose we can move on to the weight machines. Bruno, would you mind giving the students a little demo? Not at all. After about 30 minutes of us watching Bruno go through every machine without breaking a sweat, I realized that maybe I should look after my body a bit more. God, I remember uh, my gym teacher did this too. We had like a, it was like, it was a weight room, but it was like really small and compact. And there was, because it's a, it was a middle school weight room. There wasn't much to it. There was like a bunch of machines and stuff. Not machines, but there was a bunch of different play. There was a bunch of different things that you could do, that you could use. And um, seeing my teacher try and like, he didn't use himself because he was a big dude, big dude, big belly, big belly dude. He was really big. It was kind of impressive that he was even our gym teacher, but he knew what he was talking about, I think. I don't know if he did or not. Uh, middle school me believed him just because, like, I didn't really know what else to believe in at that point. No oh, good. Oh, I like how in the back it shows that they didn't win every season. They didn't win season two. They didn't win season... They didn't win seasons five through eight. That's a while. Dang. I haven't been really... I haven't really been taking the greatest care of my body, but seeing how much stuff there is in the gym makes me think that now would be a good time to start. Hold on, I'm rearranging my legs. Yeah. Oh, bell rang. I believe after this, there's like a time skip, I think. Like, I think after like you get into the swing of things, there's like a time skip of like a couple of days or something. I don't know. It might be after Tuesday. Okay, that's enough for one day, students. 
Next class, we'll talk about the basics of Pokemon battling and how to deal with Pokemon in the wild. Uh, it'll be review, but don't underestimate the in, uh, intricacies of the basics. Right. Well then, so long, students. Enjoy the rest of your day. Next time I schedule is lunch. Once gym class starts getting serious, I'll really appreciate having a chance to fill up on food over some physical activity. God, that was another thing in my middle in middle school. Just in school in general, is like some students, like a lot of students, have gym class right after lunch. So it's like sometimes it can be really, sometimes it can be a bit harder for students, some students to like exercise right after eating. Because some students, they have like, you know, they eat the school lunches, which aren't that filling. And then other students go off and buy their lunches, which could be way more filling. And so they come back and then they have PE. You could say that they did it to themselves, but at the same time, it isn't their fault for just giving themselves lunch. Like, I get it. The school can't really do anything about that. But at the same time, it's kind of like, it's kind of like, I don't know weird uh, afternoon okay. yeah this was slightly altered I think I'm pretty sure this song was slightly altered we also managed to get a table with enough seats to fit us well, more like we forced it to fit us. The majority of the tables here aren't designed to seat more than four or five people at a time, and we have seven. There's not a whole lot of leg room and ar leg arm room left. Most of us don't seem to have a problem with that, but... Hey, can you not shove your elbow right in my face? You're going to give me a black eye. She's been complaining the moment we sat down. Can't you just keep your arms under the table? I like how, like, when you look at it, they actually have a lot of space. They actually have like, I can understand the leg room, but it looks like they have plenty of arm room. Like look at May and Brendan, they have plenty of room. Like look how separated this is. Like I know you guys can't see where I'm pointing, but like still, like you see in between Trevor and Brendan, how far away they are from each other. Same with Tierno and Trevor. Like they're so far apart. At my high school, um, we had like seats that were like, now that, was like no arm room unless there was like no one sitting next to you but there was like no arm room basically like if you just averagely just put your arms out like my arms go out pretty i place my arms out pretty wide so it's like sometimes i'd hit others but you know yeah but then i can't reach the food above the table some sacrifices have to be made for the consideration of others then can you please tie up your hair or something it's been all up in my face and half the time I can't see a damn thing. Hmm, I can't help it if it's a small table. No one can help it. Unfortunately, there are no more tables left in the cafeteria that can provide enough space for us. Hmm, I guess that's true. Uh, um, anyway, have you guys tried the basculine tar, tar yet? It's remarkably tasty. You guys are eating Pokemon. I knew it! I knew it! I'm just kidding, this is a fan game. Oh yeah, can I get some of that? Some of that ass. Damn! This is some good ass fish. <laughs> the way Brendan talks is like me. The way Brendan and um uh Red talk is like it's kind of like a combination of like how I talk. It's it's kinda nice. I like it. Kind of. It's similar. I'm not saying it's exactly like me, I'm just saying the way the two of them talk is similar to me. Right? I've never really liked fancy food before, but it's delicious. Yo, yo, let me have some. Me too, me too. Shauna, a friend of Tierno and Trevor's, quickly locked down her title as the most spastic girl I've ever met. She and Tierno look like a pair of sharpedos with the way they're orbiting around May. Don't they realize that the cafeteria is, is, is a self-serve buffet? You guys do, you guys do know that the, the seafood station is serving them all day today, right? There is no need to take them off May's plate. I know, but the line's crazy long right now. Why wait 10 minutes to get my own when there's some right... Hey, Brendan, what the hell are you doing? Oh, sorry, I could help myself. Wow, that basket is something else. You have no idea. Obviously, you ate all of it. Arrgh, I'll get you for this. My basket, no! I'm telling you, you can get your own at the seafood station. Ugh, Brendan, you got crumbs on your cheek. 
Really? Where? Here, let me get it for you. Oh, oh, May, geez, not in front of everyone. Then stop eating like an... Uh, Neanderthal. I, you know, give me a break. It has been so long since I've seen that word written or typed out. Whatever. It's been so long. I have... I'm just gonna say this right now. I don't think I've ever written or typed Neanderthal. Just being honest. Maybe I've typed it like once, but I don't remember, which I doubt. I'm just gonna go with that. I'm just the safe bet is that I've never typed it, or I've definitely never written Neanderthal. Actually, that might be a lie. I might have written it sometime like sophomore year. Anyways, you guys don't care. May is vigorously rubbing her handkerchief on Brennan's face like a dotting mother. Ever since we started hanging out, these public displays of affection are becoming more and more common. I thought I would get used to seeing this kind of thing by now, but I can feel my face lighting up like a Voltorb. You guys like that stuff? Huh? Yeah, kind of. Why? Why? You don't like fish? Nah, those, th those things always rub me the wrong way. Anything related to the ocean gives me the creeps. Really? I had no idea. I had a friend like that. Every time he got too close to the pool or beach, he would just start screaming his ass off. Spooky, right? I mean, I don't scream, but I do feel a bit sick looking at stuff like that. I get a little woozy looking at the big packets of blood in the Pokemon Center sometimes. Yeah, same. Like, I want to break down and start crying uncontrollably. Uh, that's not exactly what I meant. That's not exactly what I feel, but okay. What about you, Red? You don't seem like the kind of guy to be really scared of anything. Me? Really? Yes, I am curious to hear your thoughts as well, for conversational purposes, of course. Hmm, let me think. Hmm. 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 Yeah, you know, I knew this at one point because I, I'm trying to go for a leaf, but I don't know what to pick. Hmm. I'm kind of just trying to go in this like mostly blind in this demo I'm not looking for assistance you know I'll say failing to achieve my dreams one of my biggest fears is if I end up leaving this world without getting to accomplish my goals wait I feel like that's maybe Trev I might lean towards Trevor I don't know it feel like my life was a completely wasted effort Damn it. I think the spinner axe one was the right one. No, I think maybe the spinner axe one was more May. I don't remember. I'm trying to go for Leaf, okay? Look how cute she is. May's cute, too. I understand what you mean. This, that is also a fear that has passed through my mind on more than one occasion. The prospect of passing away with a regret as heavy as that is quite frightening. Hey, we're only teenagers. We still have like a hundred years to live. A uh, hundred? Scary stuff like that can wait until we're adults. Let's enjoy life while we can. If that is what you believe, I cannot argue. There is not one correct way to live, after all. On the subject of fears, is anyone a little scared for the school year? Nah, this school year is going to be great. Why do you ask? To be honest, I'm a little worried about whether or not I'll be able to graduate. Did your homeroom teachers tell you the graduation rate of the school yet? Yes, I believe our teachers said something about like only 3 out of 10 seniors graduate every year. 3 out of 10? Wait, are you serious? Tierno, we are in the same home room. Were you listening to music th in, in class again? I, but I did, uh, really, 30%? That is what Professor Birch said, yes. Do not worry, I'm sure everyone here will be able to graduate without any trouble. I'm not trying to play devil's advocate here, but what makes you so sure? There's a lot of people here that seem a lot smarter than us. Perhaps that is a little immature, but I just have a gut feeling about it. You can call it a sort of instinct. Hey, you don't question Trev's you don't question Trev's about this kind of stuff. This guy sees talent like a color, I swear. What does that even mean? Speaking of talent, have you guys decided what clubs you want to join? Oh, sign ups at the club fairs start next week, right? Holy crap, that's soon? Damn, I don't think I even took the time to look at the club brochure yet. Sometimes I surprise myself on how unprepared I am when it comes to school. Yeah, sign ups sign ups last for a couple weeks after that. But May and I decided to join a club really early. Oh, oh, let me guess. Is it the maiden host club or maybe the cheerleading team? Oh, if you're in the cheer team, then you're going to be with me. What? No, not, it's neither of those. Ah, boo, that's no fun. 
good guesses, but we're joining the Coordinator Club. It looks really fun, and besides, Brent and I both just adore Pokemon contests. Of course, because they're from the Hoenn region. We've been both we've both been watching contests since we were kids, so the Coordinator Club is perfect for us. Dang, you guys are lucky. Which one are you gonna join, Trez? I'm guessing the Photography Club. Yes, actually, they look quite fascinating. I very much want to explore their more advanced photography equipment. Mother and father never let me have my own in the house. Hmm. You guys know if this school is a dance team or anything related to dancing? Uh, according to the brochure, I don't think this school has a dance club. You mean this school doesn't have a dance club yet? Anyone can start up their own club if they get enough members to sign up, right? I think I know what Tierno is up to. I read somewhere that you only need five members on board to get the club approved, and since there are more than five of us here, don't tell me don't tell me you seriously plan on starting a dance club. Well, how did you know? You know, you also need a supervisor for the club. Do you know any teachers here that would actually approve of a, a dance club? Sure, who doesn't love dancing? Hey, Leaf, you want to be the first member? Uh, thanks, but no thanks. I'm going to join the outdoors club instead. It'll be nice to get off the school campus whenever I can. Ah, oh, man, sue yourself. Everyone's looking at me like they're waiting for my input. Can't say I haven't been thinking about clubs, but I don't think it's really high on my priority list at the moment. But since signups are next week, I should start thinking about a club I'd be interested in. Clubs, huh? Right now I'm leaning towards... What's kind of funny is, like, the battle team is, like, none of them. It, you know, you don't increase your friendship with any of them. Uh, coordinator club is for both of them. Cheer team is for her. Photography club is for Trev's. Dance club is for him. Outdoors club is for Leaf. So we're going to go with the outdoors club. The outdoors club. That sounds chill, and I thought of being stuck on campus all day for the whole year. It doesn't sit well with me. Yes, that's exactly why I'm joining too. Can you imagine spending half the day stuck inside school? I sure can't. It's suffocating. I need to have a change in scenery every once in a while or I'd lose my damn mind. Yes, me and you are on the same wavelength, Red. Hmm. What are you hmming about over there? Nothing. So do clubs meet every day or is it every other day? I believe that it depends on the club, but generally club activities are held two or three times a week. Except Sunday. At least that's how it is for the photography club. It's the same for the outdoors club. They meet on Mondays and Thursdays after school and on Saturday mornings. Attendance isn't mandatory, is it? I think it is. Ah, oh, no! I'm terrified of commitment. That's good to hear. I'm sure attendance depends on the club as well. But I think it is safe to say that joining a club requires serious commitment. I know that some of the more competitive and selective clubs have a very strict attendance policy. We can always find out it for sure later. We still got a week to decide. But check it out, the line's sitting out over at the seafood station. Wanna grab some of that basculin, Shauna? Yes, please! We've been talking about so much that we barely touched our food. We should clean this up before lunch is over. I'm full, you can have the rest of mine if you want, Brendan. Anyway, how are classes do going so far, everyone? Ha! Where do I even start? We listen to Leaf complain about school as we finish up our lunches. Wait a minute! Leaf had the same class as you, and nothing happened! I don't know. As we get ready to move to our next class, I realize that this is the first time in a while where I had lunch with such a lively group of friends, at least in school. It's almost a shame to have to go to class, but I can't say I'm not anticipating my next class either. Looks like I have my electric type elective coming up. I like the lights. I like how there's like, they made the electricity kind of jolt around. Round two. Dinero and Leaf, Dinero, Leaf, and I made the trip here together from the main cafeteria. Leaf is grinning widely at me while Dinero already zoned out with his headphones on. Class together again. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you must really have a thing for me. Nah, nah, nah. What, what makes you say that? What makes you say that? I don't know. Not nothing, nothing. And by the way, it's hot as fuck in my room. <laughs> It's summertime, and I hate it. Well, I like it, but... Again, as I said last time, I had to... I think I said this last time, but... Before I record now, I since I always have my fan on, I have to turn that off and close my window before I start recording. If I don't, you guys are constantly hearing a fan, 
And then you guys are also um, probably going to hear outside. Like, I don't want, in case, like, sirens drive by, like, if a police car drives by with the sirens on our ambulance. Oh, God. I really hope my spaghetti doesn't come back and give me diarrhea. It did last time. Jeez. Uh, that did not taste good. Pull a chair over here, bucko. I quickly grab a seat next to Tiano. Hey. What up, man? Is someone calling for you? Beats me. Mm. Attention! Whoa, what? This army looking guy just burst into the room yelling for no reason. Is. Is this guy our teacher? What are you maggots still sitting around for? You got diggling shit stuck in your ears. There's an office. There's an officer on desk at this electric type class, and his name is Lieutenant Surge. That means get your asses out of your chairs now! Jeez, I don't know what's going on, but I better do what he says before he kicks the crap out of me. Up, 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 get up! Your recruits better start getting your acts together unless you want to fill my combat boots up your... Uh, long word assholes. Hey, hey you, you can't choose like, like this. Uh-oh, I don't like that look one bit. You're, you're a teacher here, right? Teachers c can't treat s students like this. That's against school p p policy, isn't it? Right, you! Lag! Good lord! Do you think I'm cute, boy? Do you think I'm playing jokes? What? What? I've been given special permission to teach you brats. To teach brats like you the meaning of discipline and respect. If you can't handle the training, then crawl back home and suck on your mama's tits. I... Get up on your knees and... I said get up! Now, out! I want to have goddamn crying babies in here. Is this for real right now? <laughs> oh no, Tiara, I can't watch. I didn't, I missed the last part. Oh shit, this better go by fast, it might get copyright. Even though, I don't know. Just what in the hell do you think you're doing, maggot? I said, what the hell are you doing? Whoa, hey, Teach. What's everyone standing up? You, what's your name, boy? I'm Tenero. Tenero, I ought to choke the life out of you right now, right now, right here, right now. Wait, what did I do? I'm asking the questions, now just what makes you think you have the right to disrespect me in my classroom? Oh, sorry about that. I just like listening to music so much. I can't help myself sometimes. Here comes the right you. I can feel it. Well, no shit. I admire your honesty, Private. In fact, I like you. What? Take a note from Tierra, ladies. This man has no fear, therefore he has no weakness. I hear you whimpering like that other maggot and right you here will unscrew your head and shut down your neck till it pushes out every hole in your body. Jesus Christ. Now let's start with a quick two mile run at the track. Let's go. I've seen legless chuckles move faster than you ass bags. Oh god, if this is how it's gonna be every class, I might just end it all. <laughs> That's brutal. Fortunately for us all, the period ended shortly after. What a day it's been. Still one more class, though. Gotta finish strong. Homeroom. Back to homeroom. I believe you take a qu quiz here. I know I said that after, like, um, after, like, you know, that one day, I don't remember much, but I remember this. I, I remember this much. We return to homeroom as the school day draws to a close. And I also am starting to remember some other stuff that happens with Blue. The day didn't feel like it dragged on for that long, but it, but all things considered, I'm ready to call it. Judge it by the looks on everyone's faces, they look, they look like they're ready too. The final period burns through while we listen to Professor Oak talk, talk about another trivial matters. It's weird. I was expecting class with the professor to be a little more, how should I put it, fulfilling? At least, that's what my other classmates were talking, were making it out to be earlier in the day. But so far, I haven't taken anything out of the homeroom that's especially memorable, other than that the scary speech about the school's graduation rate. Maybe he's unprepared, but that's really unlike him. I could tell by the look in your eyes that you're all quite tired of listening to me brantle on. To tell you the truth, I'm tired of it too, haha. <laughs> but before I dismiss you, let me give you all a welcoming gift, a celebration of your acceptance into Kobocon Academy. Oh, right, we got to pick our starter. Are those what I think they are? If so, then this class just got a little more exciting. Today, each of you will be making a, taking home a Pokemon for yourself, courtesy of the Academy. 
In each of these Pokeballs that you will receive is a random, unevolved, untamed Pokemon. Consider them your homework for the next three years. Hey, I got plenty of Pokemon back home already. I don't need any more, especially unevolved ones. Regardless of what Pokemon you may already own, these Pokemon will be required to stay on hand for the rest of your time at Cobalcon Academy. At the end of your third year, this Pokemon will be reviewed along with yourself and other potential Pokemon in your party to determine whether or not you graduate. Great, I just love being forced to take on liabilities. That's the spirit, Wumbo. So that's how they do it. I had assumed this school wasn't going to be all about good grades, so this isn't a complete shocker. I'll call you up one by one to receive your Pokemon. Remember, what you get is what you get. This takes me back to when I was a kid and Professor Oak gave me zappers. It was the same situation. I didn't get much of a choice. But in retrospect, I thought it was the best day of my life. Times were simpler back then. I got a Vulpix. Woohoo! Wow, I didn't realize we were getting such high-grade Pokemon. I was thinking we were getting nothing but Rattatas and Bidoofs. Not that I wouldn't be happy with either of those. I'm grateful for getting anything at all. But it kind of sucked knowing I got one of those when someone else got a Vulpix. Red! Phew, okay, here goes. A moment of truth. And with my luck, I'm gonna end up getting a Rattata or Bidoof. Whatever gods are out there watching me, please don't let me down. Hmm. He gets. You guys know what he gets. You guys You guys could have guessed which one he got. Congratulations, it's a Charmander! Give me a sec. I? I don't know. This Pokemon is really quite energetic. I. What? You're not pulling my leg, are you? I'm not pulling anybody's leg. He's in your care now. Alright! A Charmander, today's my lucky day! <clears throat> I didn't know what to expect, but everything somehow turned out better than I could have imagined. Thank you, I knew the gods were looking after me. You got a starter Pokemon too, Red? Too. Did you also get a starter? You bet I did. Say hello to Bulbasaur. Well, I'm going to keep it in his Pokeball for now, so I don't think he can hear you, but whatever. But whatever, he's going to be awesome. Your Charmander should play with my Bulbasaur sometime. It's only natural that our Pokemon should be best friends like their trainers. Since when were we best friends? You got Charmander, Red? Ha, that's perfect. He just has to ruin every happy moment I get. What's wrong with the Charmander? Oh, nothing really, except it won't stand a chance against my Squirtle. Ha 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 ha. What? It must be divine retribution. You, you're never going to beat me. Even at random draws. Ha ha. Really, a Squirtle? All the Pokemon to get, he has to get that one. Yo, let's check out our Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on. Blue, this isn't the time or place for that. Psh, whatever, my Pokemon looks a lot stronger anyway. Hey, leave him alone. It's not nice to bully others. Oh, I, uh... And for your information, I got a fire starter, too. Just ignore him. What'd you get, May? A Torchic. I love fire types, so she and I are gonna be best buds. I just know it. Haha, <laughs> Torchic really suits you, May. I mean, your bow already kind of reminds me of their fuzzy heads. Hey, you're right. You hear that, Torchic? That, this was fate. You and me were meant to be. You guys got starters? Lucky. Yeah, maybe just a little. What Pokemon did you guys get? A Cleffa. It's different kind of cute compared... Yeah, it's a different kind of cute compared to my Miltank, but I'll take it. I heard these little tykes are really rare. I got a new mole. I'm taking the fire and ground electives, so I'd say this worked out okay. Look at this harm. Let's just take a moment to admire the harm. It's not really a harm, but let's just take a moment to admire it. Let's pretend it's a harm. It's a harm. It might take me a while to get used to the whole camel thing that's going on, though. It's got going on, though. But it's one of the few Pokemon in the world that can learn Eruption. I don't know all there is to know about Fire Pokemon, but doesn't that move super good? I mean, I guess it's alright, but I was hoping for something that isn't a Fire type for once. I got enough of those back home. I can't wait to play with my Torchic. She's gonna have so much fun with my Skitty when she gets here. We can bring our Pokemon here from home. The professor said it does that it doesn't matter what other Pokemon we have in our party, so yeah. I'm getting my Jigglypuff and Nidoran sent here tomorrow morning. I need to get them out of the Pokemon Center. They've been there for months. If they're anything like me, they can't sit still for too long. That's not good. Have you been giving them their vitamins at all? Of course. What kind of trainer would I be? Vitamins. I'm getting some vibes that maybe I'm not the most experienced trainer in the room right now. I mean, I've dealt with my fair share, but Zapper's really the only one I've ever owned. Once again, I've got this nagging feeling that I'm a few steps behind everyone. If this keeps up, I might get left behind. What are you all still standing around for? Class is over. Go, to, go on home already. Jeez, Oak. Chill out, bro. Hold on. 
After school. Okay. Hmm, sweet freedom. What do you guys want to do now? Sorry, I've got plans. Brendan said he was hungry and wanted me to meet up with him in the ca cafeteria after classes. But we just had lunch. You guys are going to stuff your faces again? You're going to get fat. Well, I'm not hungry, but Brendan wants me to come with him. So, I mean, unless you guys want to come with me. Nah, I'm okay. Brendan and I will find something else to do. Huh? There she goes, deciding things for herself again. But it's true that I don't have any plans today, and it beats third wheeling w with May and Brendan. Yo, let's go, May. Oh, great. Have fun, you two. Give me a call if you need anything to leave. All right, toodles. So, what do you want to do? Don't tell me you have plans today, too. Well, not really, but great. Um, Want to hang out in the lobby while we think of a place to go? Sure, but I don't really know any place to go around here. What are you talking about? We can go to the garden, the recreation center, the research center, or... Does any of this sound familiar to you? I sadly shake my head. Hmm, I would have thought that maybe you wished that you wised up since the last time, but maybe your sense of direction is in eminently hopeless. Luckily, you have me. Let's break out the old map and take a look around the area. We're right over here at the main building above the student center. Now, you see all the paths on the map? Those are paths that we could take to get on to the other. This map's really straightforward. Alright. But if you have any questions about the area in general, just let me know. Hmm. What activities are there to do? So, what is there to do around here? Is there anything in particular that everyone enjoys? Not that I can think of. There's plenty of stuff to do, but it all depends on where you decide to visit. Depending on what you do, some activities may take a little bit of time out of your day, or it may take up your entire day. Try to manage your time well and plan ahead what you're doing to be doing. What you're going to be doing. God! I can't even manage my own time in real life! What the hell? I'm so, like, out of whack with things. I just do things on the spot. I don't plan things out anymore. It's hard for me to plan things out. It really is. Or if you're tired or just feeling lazy, you can go back to your dorm or to classes and just kill the rest of your time there. I mean, that's only if you really can't think of anything to do, or if you have no friends. Personally, I'd love to go out and do stuff, but the school has a strict curfew, so once it's night, you can't have to leave the dorms. Yeah, I remember hearing about that on orientation day. Anything else you'd like to know? I'm good. Alright, I got it. Thanks for the help. No problem. So, now that we got all that sorted out, where do you want to go? Me? I didn't say anything about going anywhere. Oh, don't be shy. Come on, come on. Let's go somewhere fun. It's not like you have any other plans right now, anyway. I, she's right about that. I guess it wouldn't hurt to spend time with her. Oh, why not? You lead the way. Awesome. Let's see. How about the gym? I heard it got renovated recently. Besides, you look like you could use a good workout. Hey, I'm kidding. But seriously, all the experts say it's important to stay in shape. You know what they say, a bench press a day keeps the doctor away. Remind me again who exactly said that? Doesn't matter, let's go. <laughs> God. That's funny. Oh well, this is alright with me if it's just to kill some time. I wonder if Brendan's checked it out already. Probably. After scanning my ID at the doors, I see the gym packed with students. It's to be expected for something with free access, but looking at some of the people here makes me a little self-cautious. What's with all the people? Maybe we should try somewhere... Hey, I haven't seen you guys around here before. Oh, I forgot her name. Uh, it starts with a K, I know that. Welcome to the gym, you need help with anything? No, that's okay, we were just... Wait, I recognize you from somewhere. Are you by any chance Karina? Ah, that's my name. Like Karina, the famous evolution fighter and successor to the Mega Evolution Clan? That Karina? The one and only. Oh my gosh, it's Karina, it's really you. Red, can you believe it? it? Yeah. Who's Karina? I've seen all your your trainer PR videos. You're amazing. Is it really true that you can smash rocks into pieces with your axe kick? Haha, <laughs> maybe. It's always nice to meet a fan. I'm like your biggest fan ever. Never feared this was the kind of thing that got Leaf excited. Maybe it's a girl thing. You guys freshmen? That's right. Cool, I'm a second year myself, and... Yes, you're enrolled here? Pinch me, I'm dreaming. Hey, what dorm do you live in? Can I come see you? Can I see your room sometime? Like, right now, maybe? Leaf, be cool. But, nah, it's okay. I appreciate the enthusiasm, but I'm just a student here, like you. 
All that attention and special treatment makes me a tad uncomfortable. Oh gosh, I'm sorry. I never thought my idol would wind up so close to me and talking to me face to face no less. Don't worry about it. Oh, I never caught your name, dude. You got one? I'm Red. Red? Never heard that one before. Where's the punchline? Uh, right? What kind of silly name is that one? Haha. <laughs> It's an unspoken rule to not throw your friends under the bus, Leaf. I'll remember this. Whoa, look at the time. Track practice starts in an hour. Sorry, guys. I gotta run. Literally. Ha, <laughs> that's a good one, Karina. Haha, <laughs> my sides. Oh, she's laying it on so thick that I want to throw up. Uh, me and you both. I guess that Karina said before it didn't register with her at all. Alright, nice meeting you guys. Catch you later. She seems nice. She is so nice. I've heard all of those these horror stories about teen idols being jer huge jerks off the stage, but Karina obviously isn't like that. Isn't anything like that. If I could just end up being friends with Karina by the time I graduate, I would be so happy. You guys seem like you'd get along well. You really think so? Sure, just maybe lay off the brown nosing a little. Excuse me, I don't. <laughs> I'll try to keep it under control. <laughs> So, do you still want to stay here? This place looks packed. Yeah, definitely not. Let's try somewhere else. I think I know what's coming up. Oh, it's nighttime. Never mind. We ended up wandering around the campus for a while, talking about nothing in particular. After a few hours of this, it got dark. Is it that time of day already? Shoot, we need to head back to the dorms before we get in trouble. I was wondering. Is it that big of a deal for caught outside after dark? You know the school is a strict curfew, so I wouldn't push my luck. Personally, I'd love to go and do stuff, but once it's night, you can't leave the dorms. I heard that this school used to be full of delinquents and thugs until recently. At night, there would be fights all over the school grounds. Some students and their Pokemon got beat up so bad that they had to be sent to the emergency room. Damn, and they fixed all that by setting up a curfew? Of course not. They put their foot down and expelled all of them. The police got involved in everything. But yeah, between you and me, the school used to be kind of a dump up until a few years ago. Huh. This place is so nice, it's hard to imagine something like that happening. I don't know exactly how they turned this place around, but I think it's because they replaced the old academy master with the current one. Apparently he was arrested for some serious criminal activity. You're joking. What did they do? Hell if I know. I'm just telling you what I heard around town. Whoops, I didn't mean to ramble on for so long about that. It was fun while it lasted, but we should really head back in. That's fine with me. Good night. Even though it's barely past 7 p.m., I hardly see anyone walk around the campus grounds. Leaf wasn't kidding. This place is like a town once it gets close to curfew. I should hurry back before I get in trouble. Oh boy. Oh boy, 7 p.m. Phew. Finally back. It's only the first day of class, and I'm already feeling like sleeping the rest of the week away. Looks like Brendan is back, too. Hey, Zappers, did you miss me? Dude, you peeked to something else. Like, when I got back, he wouldn't stop staring at the door. He's like a little robot. But, yo, how do you like your first day? All things considered, it was alright. What about you? Yeah, it was alright, I guess. Though, I just know that these classes are gonna kill me. I've never felt so much academic pressure in my life. You think so? I mean, it's only the first day of class. Don't you think you're jumping to conclusions a bit? Hey man, I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed, so any class from this place is tough for me at this point, you know. Whoa, hey little buddy. So this is the Pokemon you got from Homeroom. Hell yeah, you know, I don't know much about water type Pokemon, but I've always wanted one. So what kind of Pokemon is it? I'm not too sure. I think he's a frog. May called him a mudfish, but I don't, I didn't think fish Pokemon could live outside of water. Well, whatever he is, he's cute as hell, and that's what all and that's all my standards. It's Mudkip. Duh, look at him. Isn't he something the most adorable thing? Isn't he a, who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? <laughs> you're where you're weirding me out, Brandon. You're supposed to do that to babies, not Pokemon. This is a baby, a baby Pokemon. And it's scientifically proven that positive reinforcements help your Pokemon grow faster. Who am I to defy science? But is that really the way to do it? Well, isn't this great, Zappers? You just got a new roommate. Oh, May told me you got a Charmander from your home room. How's he doing? Oh yeah, come on out, Charmander. Hmm, now that I think about it, should I give you a nickname? Oh wait, that was me talking, not Brendan. Um, 
Can I save here? And let you guys, and let someone else pick a name for the Charmander? No, because my channel's dead. I have no viewers. No one would actually comment a name. I'll just do it myself. Okay, whatever. Um... Huh. Mm. Think of a name for the Charmander. Hmm. Hmm. Uh. I know. I'm sorry. I can't think of anything. Hmm. Okay, I got it. We're gonna name Charmander Balake. That's not Blake, that's Balake. See, for those of you that get the joke in the comments, I'll like, I'll actually heart your comment. So if you get the joke, I'll heart it. You'll know that you got it, that you got it right. But Balake, we're naming our Charmander Balake. Got it, you're Balake, starting now. Wow, wow, look at that. He likes you already. It's not too often you find a Pokemon that gets chummy with its trainer so soon after meeting him. Really? What's so different about how Balake is acting compared to your Mudkip? What, what? You really can't tell? No, not really. Should I? Yeah, I think so. It's pretty obvious. Uh, don't get this the wrong way, Red. Have you raised any Pokemon other than Zappers before coming here? I'm not sure what you're getting at, but I've been with Zappers ever since I was a little kid, not to mention all the time I've spent at the local lab. Yeah, but did you get it? Did you do it all by yourself? Like, they would else help you out? I mean, my mom, I guess, and sometimes Professor Oak would come over and do some checkups and stuff. But for the, but for most of the time, it was me. So not all by yourself, you're saying? No, I guess not. I've never seen such a mixture of an uh, incredul incredulity and disappointment on someone's face before. I can understand how he feels, though. For a school like this, it's unthinkable that someone with as little experience as me could have gotten accepted here. But I have Professor Oak to thank for that. I'm still confused about what Professor Oak sees in me. I'd say there are plenty of other kids that are way more talented than me back in Palatown, so why me? Oh well. Look, don't sweat it, Red. The important thing is that you're here at all. I mean, the school must have seen something in you, right? It's not like you got accepted here because of some connections or anything dumb like that. I yeah, right. No, I'm just joking. Maybe you have a knack for some for things nobody else and we ha and we just have to find out what that is and hey if you have any trouble with anything hit me up i might not know everything there is to know about pokemon but i sure can help out a friend thanks that's reassuring seriously no problem man well it's getting late time to hit the sack gotta get gotta get those hours in so i can wake up tomorrow super fresh sounds good what about you two right for ben As I crawl into bed, I realize just how exhausted I am. Never even a minute pass after my head hits the pillow and I fall into a deep sleep. Okay. Alright. I believe there's a time skip after today, Tuesday. Um. So, yeah. Okay. That's gonna be a, um, that's gonna be an episode. Alright. Yes. Okay. So, Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the video, hit that like button. And if you want to help my channel grow, hit that subscribe button as well down in the bottom left. And if you want to be notified when I upload videos like this in the future, uh, go ahead and hit that bell icon as well. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.